This is the Simpit video blog, and today's story comes to us from R Factor, or from ISI, or to be more exact, R Factor 2, where it was just a little while ago that I talked about their 10 year anniversary. I talked a little bit about R Factor and the kind of things that made it special or unique in the sim racing community. And in that, I talked about the modding. I talked about the evolution of the sim R Factor and how it actually took a couple of years so things started to really get good with R Factor. And in that 10 year anniversary, I talked more about R Factor 2 and that how things were really starting to roll along for the sim. And there are a lot more mods coming along, a lot more quality mods, a lot more stuff coming out of ISI to support R Factor 2. So with all that, I was also talking about how R Factor 2 was now just starting to get to that point where it's starting to get good. You have enough content and R Factor, R Factor 2, they are unique sims. They're sims that are put out with a lot less quantity of elements, uh, a lot less cars and tracks than other sims. But things keep coming and keep coming. Unlike iRacing, which isn't moddable, or Assetto Corsa, which is moddable, but they're really banking on people buying their DLC. But with R Factor, this time around with R Factor 2, ISI has put a lot more content to their own into the sim than they did with R Factor 1. And now the modding community, like I said, is really starting to come around. So since that last blog, just to give you an idea, things that have come out, the Nissan Nismo GTR version 1.6, it's an update, Bathurst, Mountain Park Speedway version 1.2, Jacksonville, the stock cars, the JJED tool, which is going to allow modders even more freedom and abilities to work with the sim, build version 1.008 out of ISI, the Palatov D4 update, Brookdale update, Joesville, uh, the, the 0.41 mile oval out of Florida that was part of the dev mode and it was just released by ISI back on the 12th for the general public. So as you can see, there is a lot of content constantly coming out for R Factor 2, and that just means that things are starting to get good, like I said. The other thing, you probably heard the announcement, it is coming out on Steam, and that led to another release by ISI, but they had some outdated multi-CMPSs and getting them ready for that Steam launch, things that weren't gonna be included into the sim prior to being uploaded or being available on Steam. They're now gonna be direct downloadable. I'll have a few of the links to some of those items here as well and that story. I'll also have a link to some of those mods that I talked about. A lot of great content coming out for R Factor too. So if you haven't tried it, probably a good time to check it out. It's a great driving sim. It's a great sim for driving just about any car or track combination in the world. This is the Sim Pit Video Blog and I'll see you on the track.